I love making videos. I just love making videos, but probably the most tedious part of it all is editing. But now it seems like all my troubles are ready to go away for good, because in this video, I will show you how just a couple of AI tools can make creating videos as easy as clicking a button. To show you that I'm not kidding, the first AI tool will be an absolute overkill. With this law, I can forget about basically every aspect of making videos, but let's not rush things. Let me show you how it works. Once I open the main page, and log into my account, I see four huge buttons. Create video, upload to edit, screen recording, video recording. For us, the most interesting is create video. In the bottom left corner, we can see how many free minutes we have each month. The free plan gives 50 minutes a month, which can be enough for most people. Now let's click on that button and see what it can do. In terms of initial data for our video, there are five options. The idea option just asks to describe the video in detail. Then AI will analyze our request and do everything for us. It will find the background videos, generate text, uh, generate voice, find music and so on. The second option is text and it works just like the previous option with only one difference. The text for the video is completely ours. The AI will only have to find footage and generate voiceover, but let's look at a full AI video generation. Let's say one to one minute video about ancient Kung Fu practices in the modern world. The video should be aimed at a young audience, students, wealthy people, and so on, basically at all LA residents. If I click on this little arrow near the generate video button, I will be able to choose what kind of stock footage I want to be used and opt out of personal and premium stock if needed. But let's leave it at default parameters for now. What I've noticed is that generating a video takes quite a bit of time. It all depends on the length of the project, of course, but even waiting a couple of minutes for a video is much faster than doing everything manually. In the window that opens, I can see the script for the video on the left and the video itself on the right. And as I'm watching it, I can see that it needs some adjustments. So I will click edit to open a special editing menu. And here we have some basic editing options, such as editing the storyline, deleting scenes, adding new scenes and so on. Right now I hear that the scenes finish before the voiceover. So I will double click on each scene and slightly increase the length. If needed, I can manually replace each footage by choosing it from suggested clips. I can add text or animations for each scene which is quite nifty. I do like how simple this editor is. It has only the most important stuff. I can add graphics, change the style, add transitions, or even regenerate the voiceover. I can pick any voice I need and look how many choices there are. So let's choose a voice and get it generated. I won't bore you with the waiting screen. I'll just say that I waited around 10 to 15 minutes for it to finish generating, but it didn't. So we have to understand that this is AI and it is never perfect. So let's just start over with the same task, but create a different video. This time, a one minute history lesson about the French Revolution. And as expected, generating the initial version didn't take long. However, the issue with the voice still playing when the scene changes persists. So I will again go and manually increase the length of each scene. I know this might sound tedious, but it is much faster than doing everything by hand from scratch. I can also change the form format of the video, landscape, square, or vertical. Let's leave ours vertical, perfect for social media. I can also add stickers, move the text around and so on. Adding transitions is also a piece of cake, as you can see. Let's export the video and check it out. The French Revolution was a period of radical social and political change in France. From 1789 to 17. Well, this looks quite okay. I'd say even better than most novice video editors can do. But as you might guess, this is not the end for Vizsla. I can also generate videos based on our voiceover. To do this, I will upload audio from one of our recent videos, which is 10 minutes long. First, it takes a couple of minutes to process the voice. As I found out, describing the video doesn't really make any difference. The choice of footage will still be based on what I'm saying, not on what I'm asking for. So that's not a tool that will clone your voice and create videos with your voice. Also, generating this video takes a lot of time, much longer than an average video, and the result is quite so-so. But it's time to move to the feature that I really like, generating videos based on blog posts. Just think about it. I only have to paste the link to the post, and the AI will read it 
come up with a script, generate voice, and do basically everything. And it will be a totally unique piece of content. Just look at this. From a long article, it managed to create a two minute video with all the necessary graphics and captions. It again needs some polishing and manual adjustment of scene duration, but that's not a big deal if you ask me. Just look at the final video. Introducing Google's next gen AI model, Gemini, a cutting edge AI model that outperforms GPT-4. As you saw yourself, all I had to do was paste a link and click one button. Super simple to use. With this tool and a good selection of articles or ideas, you can pump out dozens of videos every month, all for free. Nero Studio is the new great platform that seamlessly transforms text into videos in only a couple clicks. One of the first things I noticed about Nero Studio is its versatility. It's not just about making marketing videos or product demos. Nero Studio can handle a wide range of creative content from educational tutorials to social media posts. Influencer marketing can be expensive and time consuming, but Nero Studio eliminates the need for costly partnerships. It offers a variety of pre-designed avatars to suit various styles and themes. Additionally, I can create my own custom avatar by providing footage of my talking head. One of the key features that sets Nero Studio apart are the natural AI voices. Nero Studio can generate voices that sound human and engaging, adding a layer of personality. I can select any one of 120 plus voices, just the voice itself and even emotions. I can paste the script myself or ask AI to write it for me, and it writes damn good scripts. Nero Studio supports both horizontal and vertical video formats, which makes it perfect for any campaign or platform. One of the things I appreciate most about Nero Studio is its intuitive interface and user-friendly design. Even with no prior video editing experience, it's super easy to create professional looking videos in minutes. Nero Studio is basically a one man band with its versatility, natural AI voices, UGC capabilities, pre-made avatars and cross-platform compatibility that covers all the video creation needs. I will leave a special link in the description, so be sure to click on it and get your discount. And now let's talk about the easiest way to produce content, repurposing someone else's videos. There are many ways to do it. You can download the video, manually cut it into pieces, then try to make a video out of all that, or you can just use Opus Clip. What I like about it is how easy and straightforward it is to use. When I open the main page, there are only a handful of buttons that I can click on. And basically, all I can do is paste a link and click one button. However, I want to point out that for free, every user gets up to one hour of processed videos, which is quite a lot. So let's paste that link to one of our videos and click the big blue button. The next step is choosing the video language and translation. And right now, the platform supports around two dozen languages for videos, but translation works only to English. I hope with future updates, more languages will be added, making the Opus Clip more suitable for more people. After choosing the language, I can use a slider to precisely choose parts of the video that I want to turn into shorts. This is very useful if you want to work with specific parts of the video or if you're just short on credits. But for the sake of the experiment, I am going to leave the time frame as is and click the blue button again. Now all I have to do is wait. This does take some time, but again, it is faster than doing everything manually. After the processing is done on a new page, I can see all the short clips the AI created with a transcript next to them. So let's watch the first one. There's this little button underneath the image, and if I click on it, the AI will generate a higher resolution version of this image. Now I want to... And what I instantly see is that the AI here can struggle with picking the right moments from the video. If we ignore this little fact, the video looks great. It has animated captions, the camera follows my face and so on. This is a really nice short video. The only weak element about Opus Clip is how the AI selects pieces of the video and I need to pay for a subscription to change that. But I think we can easily fix this problem by changing the type of content that gets turned into short videos. And there is no better candidate to demonstrate that than Mr. Beast. I will take any video of his, paste it, and choose only half of the video, just for the sake of speed. After a couple of minutes, Opus Clip managed to create two short videos out of six minutes of material. And I must say, it is once again done really well. It could use a little polishing and adjustment here and there, but for something that took a couple of minutes to create, these are really good results. First, we need to trek towards that mountain to get some protection from the wind. 
win. This is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Shut up, Nolan. <laughs> I think we should take a step back and once again look at text to video generation because this is the most interesting and compelling way to use AI for creating videos. So the next AI tool that I want to try is Flicky. To create a new video, I'll just click new file and set a couple of parameters in a special menu. I can choose which file type I want to create, video or just audio. I can select the language and dialect. Just for fun, I'm going to select English with a Mexican dialect. Then I'm just going to click submit to get to the next menu. This next menu is very interesting because it shows five options for generating videos that Flicky supports. It can create videos from a text prompt, aka ideas, blog posts, presentations, tweets, and product pages. I'm more interested in text prompts, so as an idea, I'm going to type something absurd like lizards control this world and humans are just slaves. Sounds like a pretty bizarre and weird thing to ask for, but I want to see what it's capable of. Below the text input field, there is a slider to select the duration of the video. I'm going to set mine to 30 seconds because this will be more than enough for this particular prompt. The last step is choosing the footage that we want to use. Without a subscription, there are only two options available, stock media and AI art. For this one, I'm going to set it to AI art and choose the 3D model style. Then I wait for a bit for the video to generate and enjoy the results. Unveiling the reality, lizards rule and humans are merely pawns. As the sun sets, what? The video looks quite good already, and I'd say that the quality is on par with the idea. On the left from the preview window, we can see a list of scenes for which we can change the text or the image if needed, or even add additional scenes. For subtitles, I can change the position, the font, size, and the way it's animated. I'd say this video looks just as bizarre as the prompt I used. It may not be as creative as a video from a real person, but it's definitely on par with everything a novice video editor can do. Also, while testing this AI for a video, I created a really cool video about AI tools. Here, the idea was more basic and realistic, so Flicky didn't have any issues with finding footage for the video and editing it all in a compelling way. Again, it all can use some additional polishing, but for something that took five minutes tops to make. But you know, all these videos are quite basic, simply because they are optimized for social media and short form videos that we all love. However, with the previously shown tools, it will be quite difficult to create a video for an ad. So if you're a business owner, it may seem that you still have to rely on conventional ways of doing things like contacting a special agency. However, there is one AI that does quite an all right job here. It's called Lucas. Let me show you what it can do. It works just like ChatGPT. We have only one input field where we type whatever we want to get. For example, if I need an ad for a local sushi restaurant, family owned with good ingredients in a cartoon style, then Lucas gives me a short script for the video and lets me choose the video format. I'm going to set mine to portrait, aka suitable for short video platforms. Then Lucas gives four options to choose from. This video may look like something relatively simple, but if you pay attention, you'd notice that none of the AI video generators from before had any sort of additional editing. Here we can see animations, overlays, and so on. This does look like a proper ad video that you can put on your social media page. If I want to make any changes to the video, I just type them in the input field. Lucas will make all the necessary changes and create additional versions for us. If needed, I can manually change each video, change the text in it, media used, color scheme, language, and even the voice. Changing the music, of course, is also possible. I say this is the simplest way to pump out dozens of videos for your business that won't look any different from what an average editor could come up with. There's only one issue with Lucas. Once we're satisfied with the video, we cannot download it as is. Each download costs $5, which is a really sad part of this story. But hey, if you're a business owner, a similar ad video from a professional will cost you at least a couple of times more. Here, it is fast, easy, and much more affordable. After looking at hundreds of different AI tools, I can say one thing. Creating videos with artificial intelligence isn't exactly as straightforward as it sounds. It all depends on the tool you choose and the type of video you need. There are dozens of tools for each type of video, but only a small number of them can deliver decent results. And as it turns out, 
turning text into videos isn't an easy feat for developers. They have to program AI to find keywords in the generated text and find appropriate footage for that. Then they have to teach AI to cut only the important bits of the footage and stick everything together to form a full video. Then comes adding subtitles, music, generating voiceovers and so on. And as you see in this video, sometimes even the most advanced AI tools may need additional adjustments. Well, of course, the issue I had with the first tool can be easily fixed with an update from developers, and I'm sure they will do it in the near future. But I wish you knew how many tools I decided not to use for this video. For example, there was this one tool called Wizard that was supposed to repurpose content and make a ton of short videos. Using it was really easy. I just had to paste the links, like the length of the video, language, and wait, and I waited. God knows how long. And even after leaving AI to do this magic for a full 24 hours, no videos were ready. I know this has to be some sort of a glitch in the system or just a minor malfunction, but it just shows how difficult it can be to find the tool that works for you. I will be really happy to test this wizard tool in the future when this issue gets resolved because it looks really promising and interesting. If you want AI to edit videos for you, you have to be prepared to spend at least a couple of hours to find the AI that works for you and does what you need. Because what I'm testing and showing, these are only a few options out of hundreds. It turns out there are not so many options for creative video generation from prompts, but there are so many good AI tools for companies and businesses that need corporate video animations or just talking heads. Those AIs deserve a separate video. So if you want to see me testing those, hit the like button and leave a comment. I think right now, AI video editors and generators are not yet ready to fully replace professional video editors. AI video editing tools can generate videos from text prompts, but they might not be as creative and artistic as man-made videos. This is because AI is trained in vast data sets of existing videos and often replicates the styles and trends of those videos. And there are challenges, a lot of them, a big challenge for AI video editing is understanding the context of a video. AI tools can identify words and elements in videos, but they can't grasp the meaning of those things or the relationships between them. This can lead to videos that technically have all the footage, but don't make sense or fit the narrative. Well, despite these limitations, AI tools are already capable of competing with novice video editors. They can produce videos quickly and easily, and the results are passable for many purposes. This makes them a good option for businesses and individuals who need to create videos quickly and cheaply. I am sure that with tools like Google Gemini and GPT-5, there will be a huge boom in the development of such video generators. Once more people and developers get access to multimodal models, it will be much easier for AI to overcome those challenges. It will be easier for AI to understand the context of the video and sentences, find more appropriate footage, add transitions and animations and so on. And if you remember how good Dolly 3 is at generating and still images, we can only guess how good Dolly 4 will be, as it will surely learn how to generate videos, because fully generated videos are definitely the future we're moving towards, and soon there will be no need to pay for footage on stock websites. AI will generate everything for us. But our videos will stay real. That's my promise to you. We are humans, we're still superior, and we are the ones who controls AI. And by the way, to know how to control your AI better, be sure to check out our guide to writing the best prompts for ChatGPT in the description, and see you there.